the Hudson River. This. All right, let's look at your gear. Your weapon is a tranquilizer.
Horizontal bridge checkpoint passed. All non-essential personnel report to the holds in 10 minutes time for the scheduled briefing session with the Commandant. You are ordered to continue manning your posts until that time. Okay, Snap. We initiated development of Metal Gear Ray as a countermeasure to these pirated weapons forces. The only thing that can stand up to a Metal Gear is, of course, another Metal Gear. With Ray, the hundreds, if not thousands, of Metal Gears that exist all over the world are no longer a threat. The blind rush to nuclear proliferation will be contained. And it will be the Marine Corps and our Ray that will accomplish this. At the moment, every industrialized nation on the globe knows the specifications for Metal Gear. Worse yet, so do a number of rogue states. They are all working on deploying their own Metal Gear force to compete with the U.S.'s nuclear strike capability. Some say that the strategic importance of aircraft carriers will be reduced by the completion of Ray. The opposition from the Navy is an undeniable fact. There is a lot of pressure from Navy brands, especially those with submarine and air background. Not to mention interference from a major player. But this project is vital to the Marine Corps. The enemy is sometimes closer to home than you think, gentlemen. Always bear that in mind. This weapon will render. This weapon will render all other Metal Gears obsolete. Nations building up their own Metal Gear force will think twice about their nuclear strategy in the light of the military dominance spelled out by Ray. The shift in the balance of power will mean a new world order, and we, the Marine Corps, will play a central role in its military. Affairs. Ours is not the only military project devoted to Metal Gear development, but it cannot be more different in nature from the Navy's. Theirs is a program that will add fuel to the uncontrolled fire of nuclear proliferation. It is a fact that players in favor of such a policy are attempting to derail our own raid project.
so... We, the Marines, will lead the charge.